On Capitol Hill, senior DOD staff joined elected and appointed officials, as well as Army and Air National Guardsmen, in wishing the Guard a very happy 375th birthday. In 1636, the Massachusetts General Court in Salem established that all able-bodied men between the ages of 16 and 60 were required to join the militia. By spring, three regiments held their first muster and were required to drill once a week, also providing guard details every night. Now, the forebears of this nation recognized the importance of organizing community members for the common defense. By the time Colonel George Washington of Virginia was designated to lead the militia at Cambridge, Massachusetts, the concept of a militia was so ingrained in our society and was so deemed so important that it was written into our Constitution, the Militia Clause. Since the days of the first muster, the Guard's role has expanded dramatically from that of a strategic reserve to an operational force. It's been a very remarkable 375 years with phenomenal growth and so many acts of courage by many Minutemen over the years. In addition to integrating with their active component counterparts, Guardsmen currently serve in roles unique to the citizen, soldier, and airmen, both domestically and overseas. From the Cannon House Office Building in Washington, D.C., I'm Sergeant First Class Michael Houck, National Guard Bureau.